What up, Ho Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again. Ho Biscuits. Yes, they're Ho the Biscuits. The, my people are my Ho Biscuits. Ho Biscuits. Yes. What are my people? Waffle food? This is. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is Ferris, and he's not sober. So be never am. I don't like. I've I don't never know. Been sober. I have no. I can't tell you guys what's going to happen in Claws this video. The law. Love. I can't tell you guys how this video is gonna go. It might just be a bunch of chaos. Uh, I'm about to talk shit in this video. <laughs> Etsy who's in. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. We are here for drum roll, please. The, the return. Oh shit. Sorry. Do it again. 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 And I'm gonna be real real with y'all. The reason I didn't do it is because the questions got super lame and boring and I Damn. got tired of it. Y'all But we're here luck. because, and no, it's not them, it's this account. Y'all like the all ruby grapefruit white claws. You know what I'm saying? That is what you are, I guess. Um, but we're here because Ferris, I can't, I was gonna put my hand on your shoulder, but like your arms are up, so I'll just touch your elbow. No. This is not sexual. There you go. Um, <laughs> hey, this shoulder is more sexual. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're here because Ferris has never experienced a weekly Twitter advice. So we're gonna, we're gonna expose him to that really quickly. Expose me. The way he said that was weird. So we're, <laughs> <laughs> without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Question! Oh my god. <laughs> One, I did it guys. I did I finally was able to do it to somebody. Everybody else already anticipates it so they don't get scared. Fucking that was great. I'm scared now. <laughs> Hubby ain't interested in sex. He's a germaphobe who thinks I'm the filthy beast who will give him corona. So I have toys. He caught me masturbating, got pissed, and removed the doors from every room, including the bathroom. He flipped out and I need privacy. Help. Fucking break up? What? Divorce? Yeah. What? I was gonna say. He removed the doors? Yes. What? <laughs> That's the crazy. Alright. Here we go. Let's. Alright, let's. Ain't that. interested in sex means he ain't interested in you. He really doesn't give a fuck about you anymore. He doesn't like you. He doesn't love you. Jesus! He does Now he doesn't love her? Of course he doesn't. If, he, if you're not trying to fuck your husband and or girlfriend, you probably don't love her anymore. Unless it's like, unless it's like a deeply like There's personal girlfriend. like, no, unless girlfriend. it's like a deeply personal like, I'm real depressed and shit. Mm -hmm. But if you're taking off the doors, that's like sure. some crazy white people. I mean like, is this person white? You can say it, we don't know. There's no. Okay. There's no. Removed the doors, that's crazy. Yeah, it's that's a little. Nuts. So you, you're you like, he's done with her, it's so done. she should be done with him. The relationship is not salvageable. Not salvage, not at no, all. It's there's not. nothing, there's nothing left. If you're taking the doors off of shit, because someone's fucking cranking it, you're done. <laughs> think about, alright, think about it like this. Okay. I know men, I know men are going to have a strong opinion about this, but right. like, if your girlfriend told you to take off the doors because she caught you masturbating, you'd be like... And you would riot. Yeah, you'd be like, this bitch is crazy. Right. You go yeah. to your friend, you'd be like, yo, my girlfriend is crazy as fuck. Blah, 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 blah whatever. So, me is done. You're done. It's so, done. I'm okay. Out. I, yeah, I definitely think him taking off the doors is an overreaction. But, like, okay, I feel like it's more. I feel like we're more enlightened because, you know, we're better than other people. But I feel like. It is like a really big stigma for people in relationships. Like masturbation is like a really big stigma for people in relationships because I feel like people really take it personally. They're just like, oh, like why do you need to masturbate when like you have me right here, you know? I do agree with that. So I've seen people on Reddit on yeah. the like relationship advice or whatever be like, I feel like they've been like, I think my boyfriend's like cheating on me because he like masturbates. Oh no. And I've been like. 
like almost everybody masturbates. <laughs> right. Not, not, I mean, like, so like in this situation, this situation, I feel like he's like masturbating to the point like she is. Well, I think both of them are because if he's not interested, in, I mean, he's like got to be getting off somehow. You think so? You think he's like jacking off like just all the yeah, time? Yeah, man or woman, like if you're, I mean, it doesn't say how long they haven't had sex, but right. like you got to be horny at some point and you gotta right. be like doing something about it so I'm not gonna say he's cheating but like he's at least masturbating right you know what I'm saying so I've, I've had I've seen people on reddit be like my boyfriend masturbates and I feel like he's like cheating on me right you know that makes sense I think it's really interesting like the phrasing here that says he caught me masturbating like that shouldn't be like I feel like masturbation shouldn't be like a secret you know what I mean yeah but I <laughs> At the same, do you I mean, like? I guess you're not gonna be like, oh, like, yo, don't I'm gonna go rub one I'm out, like, one out right now. <laughs> yeah. So I get that, but I guess, like, I don't know. I just don't like that, and it's definitely like a huge overreact to remove the doors. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, That's what I'm saying. bro? This thing is crazy. Like, let me remove like flick the, the bean in peace. I don't know. He's like, he's like, I'm getting my rocks off, but like, you can't. Yeah. I want you to be like so final verdict break up with him i don't okay. have my gavel i have like we literally have gavels and i don't know where it is order in the court <laughs> break up with him break up with that nigga. all right are you ready for the next question yeah, i'm ready give it to me question you gotta stop with that bro <laughs> yeah do you want to read this one yeah all right boyfriend of six years has been leaving my house to go to work for weeks but his manager posted that the restaurant went out of biz last month. Mm, questionable. Found out he's been with his ex every day and borrowing her. Her money. What is that? Oh, her money. Borrowing her money. He loves me and was ashamed of losing his job. How to forgive him. You bought that? You bought that he was <laughs> borrowing his money? He was borrowing her pussy. <laughs> what the fuck? That's my alright. I'm gonna let you go because don't. I got feelings. How to forgive him? Don't like, ma'am. He lied to you for how long? And there's no way that this just started. There, he's been sleeping with his ex, bitch. Like, but that's also really confusing to me because like, why is he sleeping with both of them if the if the ex is already like giving him sex and money? Like, what is this girl providing for him? Dude, he's balling out. He's like. He's like, I'm sleeping with both girls. I'm getting paid to sleep with one girl, and I still got my home set up with this other girl. That's why. Like he's just, you know, if you like, there's no shame of like losing your job, especially mm -hmm. right now. Yeah, everybody's no everybody lost their job. Like I've been fucking, I haven't been fired, but I've been like laid off. My first job, I got laid off. So, you know, don't for, don't forgive him. He's lying. She said, even if he wasn't doing anything with this other girl right he lied he's hanging out with his he ex every day and he's borrowing money for that's like a worse thing to do than be like hey i lost my job we need to figure out how we're gonna like finance our shit mm -hmm. how we're gonna like you know figure out what we're doing because like right now if he's not sleeping with her he owes her like a lot of money <laughs> yeah so and also like why didn't you just borrow money from me if like you're gonna borrow money from some woman oh, like you got it like that I'm just saying, I would rather be the one to take care of my man than like for his ex to take care of him. I haven't been paid in two months. Let me, let me. Let me how much? How much you need? Cash how out. much you need, boo? I don't know. How much that computer cost? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so, long story short, don't forgive him, girl. He's li he lied to you. He's been lying to you, and he's gonna keep lying to you. Don't let him play you. Mm -hmm. Like, don't let him do you dirty like this. Don't. Just there's. You know, what? I was just gonna say, what's the relationship with the parents? You know what I mean? Why he go to his ex for right? Exactly. Friends, parents, uh, fucking uh, um, eight seven seven cash now. Oh my god. JG Wentworth. JG Wentworth. Like uh, uh, Coster's loan. Literally yeah, I'm just anybody. I'm just saying. Literally, and there's so many other people he could have gone to before going to his ex. Like, and dick is too plentiful in this world. Like for you to be stressed out over this one man. There's like there's, there. there's so, there's so much penis in the world, and some of it's even good. Like some. If you get me on a good day. Like some shit. 
shut up. <laughs> so, so no, don't forgive him. There's no forgiveness here. That's not happening. That's over. That's canceled. Okay, I will. Question three. Oh, I'm ready good? for it now. Is that better? I'm ready that? for it now. Okay. My sexy boyfriend has a baby-sized penis. <laughs> Why would you stop? I'm gonna keep reading, okay. Wouldn't be an issue if he tried to please me in other ways, but he's lazy and selfish and better. Come on, dude! Okay. He only wants oral sex and then he ignores me while I do it? Most times I'm just breathing hard and chewing gum down there. Advice. How do you ignore someone who's... First of all, that, what does that mean? Like, first of all, this nigga needs to pick a fucking struggle. Like, how are you gonna have a small penis and be fucking lazy? Like, nigga, if you got a shrimp dick, your tongue better be magical. Mm -hmm. Like, tongue, fingers, or feet, makeup, whatever or she's work. into. Yeah. Make up for it and work. When I have when I have sex with a girl for the first time, really most of the time. This is so inappropriate. I don't give a fuck. It's YouTube. <laughs> I'm old YouTube. I used to be on YouTube when they used to tell you like, you'd be like, oh, that's a cool video, bro. And the person would be like, go fucking kill yourself, bro. You know, that there's was... like children who watch this. Oh, my bad. Don't say that. But like, when I was on YouTube as a child, probably your age, that's, that's what the YouTube culture used to be. Got but anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So like, man, let me give you, let me give you children. Oh, okay. You got to put children. them up on game real quick. Yeah. Okay. Let me give you some advice. Like, I'm going to scoot over because you like, you've been off I'm fucking out, screen. I'm out the there we go. All right. So like try your hardest at the beginning. Like definitely do a lot of oral, like do oral to the point where you're like not into it anymore, but just like keep doing it. Um, like really try hard at the beginning. I'm going to zoom then, in on your face here. I'm just going to. Yeah. Yeah. Zoom in on my face. Two hours later. Two hours later. Some advice from Daddy. Bears. That's from the from. <laughs> I was gonna say there's. That's the word from Daddy Ferris. Uh. That's the word. That's it. Just try your best. Give it. Give it all up front, and then like if you just if you can't make it at the end. So returning, cool. returning to the subject at hand. This is the subject at hand. I'm, I'm telling. All right. Oh She's yeah. He's asking for oh, yeah. advice. He is asking for advice. I was giving the world advice. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck him. Like break up with him if he's late. All right. Like have a discussion with him. Be like, hey, you know, I'm not being satisfied. You need to try harder. And mm -hmm. then, you know, this is what I, these these are the things I like. Could you like do that for? I think that's the biggest thing because I feel like people feel so awkward communicating about sex when it's not great. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And like everyone knows that like people like their ego stroked and everyone knows that like people want to feel good about their sexual performance. But it's just like, but he's never going to get better if you don't talk to him about it. Like, cause for all he knows, he's fucking killing it, bro. Like his yeah. little pinky dick is doing the Lord's work. Like, as far as he knows, he thinks you know, he's killing it. and a lot of men actually don't know that a majority of women can't come from penetrative sex. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of men don't know that. Mm -hmm. So like, like I said, they think they're killing it. And you're just over here like, bro, a little mm -hmm. clit action would be great. Important to realize those moments. Like for me, I know, you know, I can tell. The I'm point like, is communication is key. Communication is key. Give him one chance, break up with this nigga. So that's our advice. Our advice so far has just been break up with him. I feel, I feel like You're we need happy. to diversify our responses. You're not happy, one chance, break up with him. This, is, this is the last question of the day. I'm gonna let you read. Stop reading ahead, I told you. I'm not. I can see, I, mean, I, read, can, I haven't read the whole thing. I, I can see read the your percent. eyeballs moving. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna let you read it. It's the last question of the day. Stop, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> All right, go ahead. My husband of two years got weight loss surgery in January behind my back. He said it was bladder surgery. That's not the correct use of the comma there, but we're gonna let that slide. And he's lost too much weight. Eh, kind of judgmental. 
Uh, I don't find him attractive with his flabby skin and saggy penis. M most weight doesn't really go to the penis. Anyway, also my boyfriend wants me to move in, but he's too broke. Yeah, oh. reread that last one. Also, my boyfriend wants me to move in, but he's too Her broke. boyfriend. Yeah, my boyfriend wants me to move in, but he's too broke. Right, but she just talked about her husband. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Where would do you, I begin? Would you like me to start, or do you want to start? I'm going to make some general comments. Go ahead. And you can go in. All right. It's obvious that your husband is very self-conscious about his body. Mm -hmm. um, it probably doesn't help that you're, you seem judgmental. He's like, he's lost too much weight. I don't find him attractive with his flabby skin and saggy penis. First of all, most weight, no matter like how like, I don't understand. big, how much weight you get, like. I think it's the opposite men, way, isn't it? Like the fatter you get, like the smaller your penis gets or something. I don't think it really has a, I mean like in proportion to your body, yes, but like, Honestly, if men can make their penises bigger by like gaining more weight, like <laughs> they would be doing it. I mean, that's not really a thing. Now your penis does get saggy when you get older, but we're talking like 40, 50. Maybe that's how old they are. Yeah, maybe that's how old they are. Uh, it sounds like you're a little judgmental, um, but that's also like a conversation that you need to have. Um, all right, so do husband, they, boyfriends. Do they need to have it? Cause she has a boyfriend. Yeah, I can't tell if she just like fucked up or like no. she actually has a boyfriend. That's how messy weekly Twitter advice gets. This is this is weekly Twitter advice culture. Um I don't know. They you can call her break trash. With, they should all just break up with you. Yeah, you can trash, call her trash. trash, trash, trash. <laughs> Rocket League, trash, Rocket League, trash, Rocket League, trash. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Woo. Um so Fuck first you. and foremost, like why do you have a boyfriend and a husband? And if you're gonna have both, why would you have a boyfriend who's broke? Like, at least if you're gonna have bro, bro, at least if you're gonna have both, have one be an upgrade from the other. Mm. Like, but your boyfriend's broke. I'm so, like, I'm so confused. You're fucking up. Like, if I'm gonna have a boyfriend, like, outside of my marriage, like, that nigga's gonna be a millionaire and he's gonna pay my bills and my husband's bills. Like, mm -hmm. my husband would have had his weight loss surgery and fucking a reconstructive surgery. Like, what mm -hmm. the fuck? Mm -hmm. So, first and foremost. Second of all... My boyfriend's definitely got to be bigger than I am and stronger, so... I feel that. I yeah. support that. And most of my friends are, so... I support that. I support that energy. Um... <laughs> Also, why did your husband feel the need to get the surgery behind your back? Like, were you into him being bigger? Did you like, like, the size that he was, but he didn't like it? Did he try to have conversations with you before about it, and you just, like, turned him down, so then he told you it was bladder surgery, so you would think it was necessary? Mm -hmm. Like, why did your husband feel the need to lie to you? Like, what is wrong with you? Like, She was definitely making comments to him. Oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. There's, there's no way. Especially because you've been stepping out on your marriage probably with somebody who's thinner than your husband. Mm -hmm. um, so that's my thing. Like, yeah, he lied, but like, it definitely seems like your poor husband is in a really toxic relationship with you. And honestly, he deserves better and you should just go crash into a ditch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I still just don't get the saggy penis. Like his penis would have been saggy before or after the surgery. I get the flabby skin thing because if he lost like hella weight, yeah. But he didn't get the skin taken off. Like he would have a lot of. Like, yeah, that's that's like a struggle yeah. that a lot of people talk about. Like when they get like gastric band surgery and stuff is like the excess skin. Even now, like with Chavez and I, when we work out, like we have to be very careful to not lose too much weight at once because otherwise we'll just end up with like flabs of skin. skin. Yeah, it's and very easy. Even I have stretch marks. Yeah. And like, I'm small. 100%. I'm like, super small. Like, on my, marks. like, I have stretch marks, like, on my stomach. I have stretch marks on my thighs and stuff. So, yeah, 100%. Um, but anyway, the help that you need is, one, you need to go see a therapist. Mm -hmm. um, and two, you should just divorce your husband and let him go live a better life somewhere. Yeah. His penis, honestly, a penis, like, even if you're old, as someone who has a penis, I can't imagine it being like 
the only way I can imagine is if you had like foreskin, but like even that's like not really. Yeah, maybe she means saggy balls, not saggy penis. Yeah, maybe saggy balls, like. I don't know. Oh, this yeah. conversation is veering into very uncomfortable territory. So I can't give you advice except you never <laughs> fucking break up with your husband. Yeah, your husband deserves better than you. You're, you're a piece of shit. yeah, you're bad. You're, you're bitch. awful. And or yeah, you're just a bitch. Yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you're not gonna no, we're going with yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave your reactions and comments down in the comments below. Tell us what you think of these questions. What are your responses to these questions? Um, we like to hear what you have to say. Um, hope you guys enjoyed having Daddy Ferris here. It's always a pleasure to have you around. Kind of I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna call you that from now on. Maybe that should be my YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, you're gonna be Daddy Ferris. Would you watch my YouTube channel if I made one? Watch his YouTube channel if he makes one. I'll let you know if he makes one. Um, Auntie Husin, peace out, ho biscuits. It's getting lit. <laughs>